Before I start talking about my favorite sports games, Lasercorn did want me to give you the message that my little pony t-shirt is coming and is in the mail, so you can expect that very shortly. Anyways, as for games I do like, we have sports games. Like, surprisingly, I, there are quite a few that I do like. Um, now, normally I wouldn't find racing to be a sports game, but Split Second is actually portrayed as a reality sports show in the game, and is really fun. Like, I don't like too many racers unless it has carts and green shells to shoot at people, but in split second, you, you have a normal car, you're going through a city, but you have this meter that you're building up, and as the meter goes up, you can actually cause chaotic damage to the environment. So if you save all the way up, you can literally like blow up a, uh, like a scripted uh, like tower that'll fall down on the map and actually change the entire field now so that you're going a different direction and it's just taking out like three people. Uh, it's so chaotic, so much fun. And surprisingly, it's made by Disney Interactive, which I was not expecting uh, Disney to do a game that wasn't really Disney and have it be so amazing. I absolutely loved it. It's fun playing with people. It's fun playing by yourself. Uh, and they left room for a sequel, and I'm really, really hoping I get a second split second. A second split second. It's still cool. So we're talking best sports games today, and, uh, and you're looking at me and you're thinking, so Hinky, aren't you involved in like every actual sport because you're so fit and handsome? And what I'd say to you is no, I don't actually play that many sports. I play uh, play like tennis and and I, soccer, I used to play a little bit. But anyway, uh, games that I like to play as far as video game sports, um, I gotta go with NBA Jam, right? That's such a classic. You can do the big head mode, you can play as Bill Clinton and the Beastie Boys. It's pretty fucking amazing. And uh, you do the crazy like two story high jumps where you just go way up in there and just slam it down and all the cameras are going off. NBA Jam is amazing. Plus, it's way better than actual basketball. In, a, in regular basketball, you like tap someone on the shoulder and they're like, Beep, foul. You, you foul them because you touched him a little bit. But in NBA Jam, you can just like push people on the ground and smack them in the face and shit. It's the greatest basketball game that's ever been made. Now the next one, so Inky likes to say it isn't a sports it's game. It's not a sports game. It's sports entertainment. I'm looking no. at WWF No Mercy. No. Easily the best wrestling game of all time. This one was on the Nintendo 64. Count. It counts. You can play up to four players, sports entertainment, uh, four players with the create your own character, which like so Inky had mentioned, um, being able to create your own characters is just super cool. Plus, you can make your own character and send him into whatever championship title that you wanted. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, it had all the different characters. You had, uh, you can even create like the older characters. So I was able to make like Goldberg and throw him in there because come on, it's <laughs> Goldberg is the goddamn best, right? Um, so yeah, you probably didn't know this, but I used to, I grew up with wrestling, and like this just had so many options. Some of the best gameplay. Hey, gentlemen, what do you think of wrestling games? I love it that. It doesn't matter what you think of wrestling games. So yeah, No Mercy, the best wrestling game to date. Still, they haven't been able to do it better than this wrestling game. I love it. One of my favorites. Okay, then we're talking about like an actual sports sports game. Uh, I gotta go with the FIFA series, probably FIFA 13, even though I only played it once or twice. I played FIFA 12 a lot, but the FIFA games really are just the most, I feel, balanced sports game out there. The action's actually pretty fast-paced, especially for a soccer game, because when you watch soccer on TV, a lot of times it seems pretty slow. But FIFA, uh, the game, I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just really well-balanced sports game. All the mechanics work great. It's one of those games where you don't really feel like anything's cheap or anything like that, uh, like in some, in sometimes feels in Madden. It's like when you play a game like Madden, you have, a lot is left up to the AI and the computer and stuff, but when you play FIFA, it's all you. So uh, it's really just a really well-designed uh, sports game. Mario has definitely moved away from the platform world and been able to create some amazing other games, uh, a lot of which are sports games. And I, I'm looking at Mario Tennis first because I enjoyed every single Mario Tennis. There was the first Mario Tennis on Nintendo 64. There was one for the Game Boy Color, which was actually really cool because it had these neat mini games to it. And then the GameCube one is even better. Just like, I would not enjoy tennis whatsoever. Tennis for me is just above golf in the, hey, I like sports categories. But Mario Tennis is super fun. You can play with a friend, with, with three other friends to have like a 2v2. I was super cool, you had special abilities so it kept you entertained the entire time. It got super difficult near the end. And Mario has some great sports games and this is easily his best sports game next to Super Mario Strikers. And I think the last one I want to talk about is, uh, is a boxing game, it's Fight Night Champion. Now the Fight Night series has always been great, uh, but Fight Night Champion sort of really took it to the next level. They had this really great story mode that was like maybe a little bit cheesy but like the acting was pretty good and 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 it just followed this great storyline sort of one of those like rocky type 
things where it's just like you triumphing over adversity and you have to like start in prison, you're wrongfully accused for something and you kind of work your way up like the boxing circuit after you get out. It's pretty amazing and then the multiplayer like just playing against your friends is cool. Using the, the sticks to do your different punches is f***ing sweet and, uh, and you could also do the create a character which is great. Anytime that I can create a boxer that looks like he was like an inbred... I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Anytime I can create a boxer that looks like he's just like some messed up monstrosity, I, I, gotta, I gotta give a thumbs up for that. So, Fight Night Champion, you are awesome. And how do you not go with the classic, the best football game of all time, Midway's NFL Blitz. Whether you're playing uh, on your console or at the arcade with friends, this game was just so much fun. It took like the rules of football and just threw them out the window. There's nothing more redeeming than after your friend uh, has a 15-yard catch for first down and you're like, no, screw this, and so you tackle him after the play and there's no flag for it. So yeah, they got the yards, but damn, you kicked his ass and you felt kind of good about it. Uh, it was fast-paced, it was a lot of fun, and it was just brutal. Exactly how football should be. Men slamming each other in spandex, just kind of crushing into each other. That is my idea of real manliness. And then another game I want to talk about, uh, just because it's my favorite sports, uh, hockey. So NHL 13, obviously an incredible game. Uh, one of those games, kind of like I was mentioning with FIFA, where, where everything's sort of on you. And, uh, and I think that that makes the game more interesting. And maybe my appreciation for hockey is sort of swaying my judgment in terms of like saying that it's one of the best sports games. But it really is well designed. And uh, it's really hard to score which is, is something that maybe isn't the case in a lot of sports games. A lot of times, like, when you're playing against your friends, it's really easy to score. But hockey games, it's actually really hard to score because in addition to beating your opponent, you also have to beat the goaltender, which is usually not controlled by your opponent. And sometimes it's really good. So uh, you actually have to kind of know how the game of hockey is played in order to play it well, which is uh, something that I appreciate. 